Hey guys, what's everybody doing? Looks like it's working. <laughs> Just got a notification. We are live. Hey friends. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Got a few minutes here. So I don't know where you guys are, but it is very dreary where we are in, in the middle of North Carolina. <coughs> Cloudy, a little wet, not too bad, but it's supposed to rain a lot later on this week. Yeah, it's good to see you again, Dinosaur Dan. Welcome. It's good for us to be back. <laughs> what? Yeah. She's just waiting. Are you making fun of me? Is that your echo invitation? <laughs> just like we'll talk about that. We're gonna be doing echo location for the experiment. Yeah. We'll get to that. Two minutes. A minute and a half. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stuck anymore. Ooh, wow, that was a good pop. Well, I think we'll go ahead and get started. Good afternoon. It is really nice and good to see everybody again. We have missed you. We are back. My name is Megan Martin. And I am a scientist. Good job. And I am here today with my helpers while we are still at home. Do you remember your name? It's been a while. Rainforest Dragon. Rainforest Dragon and Sunshine Shoes. Sunshine Shaley, and we are really happy to be back. It's been a while since we've seen everybody. Um, and I want you guys to see if you can remember, because it's been a while, who can tell me what a scientist is? A person that wants to know more about that language. Good job. And a scientist will come up with an idea about the world, and they have to form a hypothesis, hypothesis which is an edge. Do you remember any of this? Not really. I know it's been about two months, right? So if an educated guess as to what you think is going to happen yeah, thumbs up. during your <laughs> tests. And these tests are called experiments. All right. So experiments you have to perform over and over and over again. And as you're doing these experiments, you have to what? What do you observe. do? Observe. Good job. And how do you observe? Do you remember? Eyes, so you look, this. smell, taste, this. Taste. taste, listen, and touch. Good job. And those are your high five. Good job. And those are your five senses. senses. So you use your five senses in order to observe, mm -hmm. and then you write down and record all the data, all the information that you collect from your observations, and then you form your conclusion. And that's what you really find to be the answer from your tests, which are called what again? Experiments. Experiments. Good job. Now today we are going to talk about echolocation. Good job. Echolocation. Now the materials that you are going to need for today is pretty simple, not too much. You're just going to need some sort of mirror or reflective surface. And flashlights. And a flashlight. You know I can see that, but you'll put that later. <laughs> and then you actually need Probably the best would be to have three people. 
Um, so while you guys are getting any, any materials that you might need, um, we're going to talk a little bit about some echo location. Have you guys ever heard of echo location? Yeah. Have you been in school yet? Probably not. So do you know what echo location is? Isn't it like where someone goes to like another room? Another room? <laughs> I think about it. We're talking about echo. Do you know what an echo is? Yeah. What's an echo? It's like you're in a store, store or like a place and it's like surrounded by metal. Maybe. Or something and you say like hi, it would go on and you can hear it really loud. Okay, kind of it bounces around and then it comes back to you and you hear it again later. Okay, and location is the place you're at. Okay, someplace you're at or location, right? Echo location, some place that you're looking for or a spot on something, any sort of location. So echo location deals with sound and location of an object. Now, do you know anything that uses echo location? Bats. Bats and? Wings. Now close. Um, oh, dolphins in the, in the water, dude. Good job. You have to say this. Now, we're going to quickly tell you guys a personal story about us. We are not really big fans of bats in this house. Um, when they were much younger, we had a bat that got into our house at night, and um, he chased it with a No, we got it out of the house, but people will scare you to death, and we have all had our rabies shots, so we are very anti-bat in this house, although now we shouldn't have to worry about it too often, because I believe if anything ever happens again, all we have to do is get a booster shot and we're good to go, but we are not the biggest bat fans I don't like here, that. are we? No, I know. No, a lot of people do not. Like shots. They do. I know. They right? like needles. Okay, that's another story. We'll talk. We'll talk about shots some other time. Um, so anyway, so we talked about the echo location is used by bats, and is also used by dolphins in the ocean. Now we are lucky because if we're hungry, where do we go to get food? The store, the store or our kitchen. Or we go to the grocery store, we buy food, we bring it home and cook it. Or our pantry. That's right, or the pantry or the refrigerator. But can a bat just go to the store? Can the, huh? Okay, I don't <laughs> oh, lazy Susan. All right, so can a bat or a dolphin just go open up its refrigerator and get something to eat? No. No. So how, oh, and have you guys ever heard this? Can a bat see very well? You don't know yet. So, so a bat and a dolphin cannot see very well at all. So they use a technique called echolocation in order to find their food. I thought it was You ever heard the term blind as a bat? No. no. Well, there's a term that you can say blind as a bat. No, like the yellow thing that you could see still. Oh, night vision. <laughs> you kind of like that. In a way, it's like that. Because... A bat and a dolphin will use um, a sound that they will send out, that they emit. So a dolphin, especially a dolphin, a dolphin has a melon-shaped head. And they have a hole, small port, um, on their head that is just below their blowhole where they can send out a high pressure of, um, amount of air and send it out into the ocean. And when this, this noise goes out from the ocean, it travels super, 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 super fast. It actually travels about four and a half times faster than sound would through the air. So it is really, really fast. And it'll bounce onto things, and then it'll come right back to the dolphin, and the dolphin can use its senses. It has adapted over a very long period of time to be able to tell what um, is out there. So when the echo bounces off of something and comes back to the dolphin, depending on how long it takes for that sound to return to the dolphin, the dolphin can tell how far away something is. Depending on how strong that sound is on either side of its head, which is actually called a melon because it's melon shaped, um, they, a dolphin can determine what location, right or left, something is, and they can actually even tell the different type of fish that are out there in front of them based on the strength of the location or, or of the echo that comes back to them. 
Okay, so, well, you can have something to drink more now. We're, we're going to too much longer. So, hopefully by now, you have had um, a chance to get your mirror and a flashlight. You want the flashlight to start with? And so, so the flashlight is going to be the dolphin. Okay, that's the dolphin. And then it will reflect to that. Yeah, can you tell everybody already? Good job. We practiced a little bit. She's jumping the gun a little bit. The mirror is the ocean wall. So the dolphin is looking for food. You need to wait just a second. And we're going to turn on the flashlight. Shay, can you turn off the lights, please? Sunshine, Shaylee. Turn off that light, too. Hopefully, this will help a little bit. All right, and then I guess you need to come over here. Come around this way. All right, so you are the ocean. You are the dolphin that's looking for food, and I'm going to be the food. So you are going to shine because the light itself is going to be like the sound that is going through the water, and it's going to hit something, and then you try to turn it so it bounces and finds me, and hold it up, hold it up, into the mirror. You can't see much. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see the light? Right, moving around a little bit. Huh? There you go. You can see it. So the, the light, which is the sound that the, that the dolphin makes, is traveling very fast through the water. It bounces into fish or anything that's in the water and it reflects and comes back and it will land on me. So that is how you know where the food is, right? And so you can come get food, grab the food, <laughs> and then we're going to rotate. So you want to be the food this time? You get to be the dolphin. I will be the wall. Just shine it towards here. We we'll try to aim it, use their senses. No, don't work. Here, you can use this one. There we go. That one's brighter. Oh, there we go. I can see it now. I can. I can see it on you. You're shined up a little bit. So you can move it. And we got the food. That's right. We got the food. Yummy. So you guys can take turns at home um, practicing to try to find and use echolocation in the light. Oh, I'm sorry. You want the mirror real fast? Okay, I'm sorry. Here, I'll do this. And you can. Right there. All right, now you need to turn the mirror a little bit to see if you can get it to shine. Uh, oh, there we go. It's big and bright on your tie dye. And can you get the food? Get the food, Miss Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job, good job. So, does anybody at home have any questions? We thank you guys so much. It was so wonderful to be back today. Can you turn the lights on again, please? Thank you. It was wonderful to be back. We will see you guys again Wednesday and Friday. And next week, we will be live Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and that will wrap up our um, experiment of the day for this session. Um, hopefully guys. things will start to go back to normal slowly. It was been nice to be back. See you guys tomorrow. Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. What, next, the next one's Wednesday. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Woo!